Well, again, I, you know, it was two months of, of hard work with these young men. So I'm, I'm proud of them because, again, to win a game the other night and then bounce back and start the game out the way they started was kind of, kind of nice to see. They were all pumped and ready to play. So that was nice, you know, as we move forward. First question, Jeff. Game one, you guys really got out of track, and ran. This game seemed like it was more defensive oriented. How did you think you guys defended today? I thought we defended. I mean, they had 30 points at halftime. And I, I think at the 15 minute mark, they had only scored four points. It was sitting at 34 points. So our defense was solid, you know, and I think the beauty about this game is they had a chance to really prepare for us. Uh, by watching the first game, and that's probably why we didn't, you know, score the ball. I thought we had a lot of good looks that we missed some shots, but they had a little bit to do with that as well because they were a little more prepared. But our guys never wavered in terms of our defense. You know, that's what kept us where we needed to, uh, to be in order to secure the win. Okay, Zach Tyler, then uh, Schumann. I guess in particular, when maybe things aren't coming as easily offensively because they weren't turning the ball over as much, just what does it say about your defensive performance that that was kind of where you guys it seemed like dug in a lot more extended possessions and still forcing misses, still forcing bad shots? Well, again, we, you know, and I said this too, our defense has always been a little bit ahead of our offense. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to offensively get these guys to think a little bit out of the box where they're not playing like robots. and. Uh, I think the offense will eventually come, uh, but I was pleased, you know, with our offensive performance the other night and tonight. You know, when I go back and review the tape, I'm going to see that we had a lot of good looks that we just didn't finish. So that's a part of the game. But if your defense is solid and you're rebounding the ball, you'll put yourself in position to win. Charlie. Coach, uh, Jordan Geronimo, the last two games, has come off the bench with a lot of energy. Uh, when you were first watching tape from him, what kind of stood out to you, and what do you think the key is for him to kind of reach his full potential? Well, here's a young man that's that hadn't played a lot of basketball. I mean, it's obvious when you're watching, uh, but I think sky's the limit for him. You know, he's he's athletic. You know, he's just got to slow down and and start really thinking the game. And I got to you know help him in that area, put him in positions where. He can be successful to help us win games, but he was he was really good these last two games. Okay, last question, Mike. Coach, talk if you could about the impact that Xavier Johnson had on this game today on both ends of the floor. Well, again, I'm gonna need Xavier. He's you know we brought him here because he was a starting point guard at Pitt and and played well there for that ball club. And uh, you know we just got to get Xavier to understand you know, really how to run a team. I mean, that's that's the beauty about being a point guard. You know, you got to learn how to run a team. It, you know, there's a lot of, that's expected of you, you know, as a point guard. I mean, I, I'm leaning on him because he's got to get the ball where it's got to go, and he still has to defend and do all the things that I'm asking him to do. So it's just not being the point guard, rolling it out and say, go play. You know, you got to think the game. You got to get other players involved. Get the ball where it's got to go, and still you got to defend. So, he was good tonight, though. I thought he he bounced back from his performance the other night when he got in foul trouble early.